what a response there by Dermot Ling. From that, you know, from 2005, I'd say probably in the, the Leinster final in 2005, Fenno got injured, Skippy got injured, who was it, which of the two of them, I think Fenno picked up an ankle injury and was gone, or maybe it was Skippy, I'm not sure, one of the two of them anyway got injured, and, uh, and all of a sudden, Owen Larkin came in for two or three points, and something just turned before half time. Desi Mightman scored a goal there early on. We were really flying on quickly, scored a point that day oh. over his head. I mean, jeez, it, it, it was magic. Like, it was magic to be playing it. And I was Mark and Martin Comerford, I remember, and I was kind of studying Comerford for a good while to see how could I how could I stop him, you know, because he was bigger than me, stronger than me, probably faster than me, yeah. and way more experience than everything else. So I was like, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this fella. And I worked out that if I could put my hurl across his eyes and start in a puck out. Just that, like, you know in a puck out, like, you're 90 yards away. If I put you across there now, yeah. on the far side of the hotel, and I, and I put the ball, within about probably a second and a half, you will be able to go to the area within about a metre and put your hand up and be within about a foot or two. Like, that, that level of movement of our mind happens in that short of time. So it's like, okay, if that's how we can, if that's how he does it, it's that first second is obviously crucial to where he places himself. And so I used to put the hurl across his eyes so he, he'd lose that first second. That was enough once that was done. Plenty of uh, Kilkenny backs there. One of them happens to be Peter Barrett. Down to his mind, Comerford. One superbly by Dermot Ling, better known as Gizzy Ling. And that is sent straight over the crossbar.